Evictions at Chicago migrant shelters are set to begin a week from today. Activists today protested the approaching deadline. They're demanding an end to all evictions. WGN's Andrea Medina reports from The Loop. Immigrants are welcome here. With the first round of the 60-day shelter-stay limit policy expected to expire in one week, advocates against it rallied at Pritzker Park on Saturday afternoon, Immigrants are welcome here. demanding a stop to evictions. We are talking about up to 5,000 evictions in the next 30 days. Soy colombiana, migrante. Reina Jerez says she's a Colombian migrant who arrived in Chicago about seven months ago. With the help of an interpreter, Reina attended the rally to speak up for other migrants who may be at risk of losing their place at a shelter and don't have anywhere else to go. What are the options for migrants? What, what can we do? Um, and this has led many people to having to beg at the streets for support and for money. Reina was previously staying at the Sheridan Road Super 8 Motel. She says she has since moved to an apartment thanks to a government assistance program that is helping her cover three months of rent. But Reina knows that's only temporary and says she fears that she and migrants living at shelters could both get evicted and end up homeless since they don't have a source of income. Estoy luchando, mirando a donde me dan un empleo. She says I'm striving to get employment, but without a work permit, I can't get a job anywhere. There are 23 active shelters run by the city of Chicago and the state of Illinois. Nearly 11,500 migrants are currently relying on the shelter system as temporary housing while they wait for asylum status and work permits. The Johnson administration announced these eviction plans months ago and previously stated these efforts are meant to help migrants with their resettlement journey in Chicago. But mutual aid volunteer Mimi Wiracocha believes it does the opposite. She says it only sets them up to face a harsher second private eviction if they're placed into a rental unit when they're not employed. Because now if they are faced with an eviction, guess what? It goes on their record and guess what? It's harder for them to find somewhere to live after that. Shelter evictions were supposed to happen a while ago, but it was pushed back a few times due to the cold weather. If the process is executed this time around, asylum seekers could find themselves on the streets or at the landing zone, which is where they're asked to go to request another shelter placement. Advocates just hope the enforcement is postponed or completely lifted. We know Brandon is better, but we need to see him do better. And what that looks like is providing for all of us in a meaningful way that's, that's just, and we can start by not having evictions in our shelters. We have reached out to the mayor's office asking if the evictions will get delayed or be enforced, but we're still waiting for a response. The first wave of evictions is sent to kick in next Saturday on March 16th. Reporting in the loop, Andrea Medina, WGN News.